The idea is that you get people together to talk in a particular way and a little bit of magic happens. That particular way involves people listening to each other and everyone uh, feeling like they have a voice in the process, feeling like it's a safe place to express themselves. We've got a bit of a democratic deficit in the UK. Some groups are not engaged, they're not included in public discourse, and this is one of the ways to try to include people. You're always nervous going into a deliberative assembly because the purpose of the group is to be dynamic, so you kind of don't know what's going to happen. You set rules up ahead of time, uh, people do listen to each other, and, and if they listen, then they happen to change their minds. And we know this from research that I've done with Seamus, that people do change their minds, that the outcomes are different if, if they listen to one another and if everyone's included. We're talking to a group of people who are typically very difficult to access. Older Britons, minority ethnic older Britons, they're not a group that shows up a lot uh, when you see the news. Most ethnic minority groups have a higher probability of being in old age poverty. We've got 50 people coming from a range of ethnic minority backgrounds to discuss money issues, access to bank accounts, credit advice and the like. We think that this is a great way to get people engaged and to actually listen to people. <laughs> small group session will be breaking you out into groups. You'll be talking about uh, education. Conflict is okay. You don't, you don't have to always agree. You, you, you can disagree and, and in fact sometimes that, that's better. We can take a couple of minutes to read over the facts which will kind of inform how we discuss things uh, and as Eric said on the back we just have a reminder of some of the principles of our discussion. The future of the country relies on the education that the young people have had. The government is spending this money on two wars at the moment, and yet they're saying that they cannot educate our children. Governments did not control the rich people who dodge the taxes. The United Kingdom is one of the five top richest nations in the world. Having said that, I think we should live in the real world. The United Kingdom is not in a position to fund 100%. My dad was very open. And when he was dying, his last words to my mum, you know, both were in hospital after an accident, educate your girls. I can't find an English word for kuriya rolna jan. Don't the children sort of get lost somewhere in the crowd. The purpose of this afternoon uh, session is to discuss the issues of pensions in this larger group. We should let all the black and ethnic minority older people go back to their roots if they want to. The people who have worked here and retired are British citizens. The contract should be with the British citizens and not the country to go back to. Everybody who are pensioners in this country are finding difficulty with the cost of living. So a lot of them then go abroad because it will be cheaper living on that pension. And a lot of them do not know that the pension will not be increased. We know that the health needs of older people increase the older they get. Health services, uh, elderly social care, and the rest of it. What would be the cost to us if all of those people who go back to India, Pakistan, the African countries, and the Caribbean were to remain here? Because I'm sure that that figure would be considerably more than that which they're denying people by operating their pensions. The latest survey reports are people are living much longer than before. The incentive to save should be there, which is missing in this country. I feel that the taxation on the savings should be reduced. Give these people who have been working all their lives in factories offices, etc. Give them a little bit of something extra to help them build up their pension so that when they're retired, they have something to live on. This nation has got used to living beyond its means with the result that there are billions of pounds on credit cards alone that people owe to the banks. And let's cut our coat according to the clothes that we have. Why we are paying the bankers the bonuses which have failed the, the the business is here and we are still rewarding them.
The government of the day has moved to increase pensions on the 1st of April on the process called the Consumer Retail Index. Now, that's a very subtle way of making pensioners poorer. Rising pension, 25 pence cannot buy a loaf of bread. In other countries like Canada, the people get pension and then the people get old people allowance. So they can have a better living standard over there than what one, one can live in Britain. Yeah? Everybody's talking on that, my finance, finance. We are blind with finance. What about the humanity? Where is the human approach to individuals like me? I don't want to be equal to the younger generation. I want to be treated better than them. Because I have given the country 50 years of my life. I've paid my dues. And I should get the respect that I deserve. And we all deserve. I definitely think you'll see more and more deliberation popping up in, in politics as we move forward in the next couple of years. I know it works. I've studied it. It makes a difference. We'd like to see this done across the UK. If you're interested in how we've done it and what we'll be doing in the future, because we are running another one of these one year from now in Birmingham, please log on to our website. It's www.runningmeetrust, all one word, .org.